All right, so today we're going to be talking about very basic binds. Just This is going to be focused more on like the early game. So right here is your hotbar. It's expanded right now, you can see. You can expand it by clicking this little bottom right thing. It goes in and out. You can even play with it open if you really want to, but I keep it closed when I play. So right here I have some basic binds set up, you can see. The first bar is the only bar I have open. It has all my transfers on it, so I use 1 through 0 on my keyboard for this entire bar. Yeah, so when I'm playing, I'm not switching bars at all with this setup, which is very good. You don't want to be swapping bar bars because that's just an extra bind you have to set up. And then every other bar is just damage and utility spells, which I bind to its own key. So you can see my bar zero, the last bar, it's just my four weapons I've set up. Alright, so before we get into actually binding stuff, I want to show you guys the new system that they added with the bars where you can stack abilities together, which can save up a lot of room. So right here I'm going to try to show you stacking heal self and sacrifice. One thing to note, you have to do it from the spell book, and a little box will pop up to the right, and you just drag the spell in there and just drop it in there. And then now a little cogwheel in the bottom right corner will show, which is options. And inside these options, there's a lot of things you can do. You can do a cycle, which will cycle between the multiple spells, your first available, which I advise using on heals. So you'll use whichever one's off cooldown first. And then under that, you have what, it's like an insta cast if you select this. It'll make the spell, the second you hit it goes off, which is good for like a ray script only. These other ones I don't really use, trigger on release, or charge on release, they're not very useful at all. I, I wouldn't just step away and not use them. Alright, so now we're actually moving to binding stuff, so you just want to start off, hit the options at the top, and then go to the input bindings, and at the top of the screen you go to GUI. This menu is adjustable now, so you can make it bigger if you need to, so you can scroll down, and this is every single hotbar that you have, so you can bind whatever you want to any key, it's all your choice. Alright, so when you scroll down, you'll see how everything's in order. It starts with the hotbar 0 to hotbar 9. But right now, we're going to be focusing on hotbar 0 because that's where our weapons are. As you can see, in our column 9, row 1, we have the great sword. So I'm going to go in and bind this to my key, which is going to be tab. So right now, you double click it and you select tab. And if it asks you to swap something, hit yes. Alright, so now our great sword's bound to tab. So now we want to bind our bow, which I like to put on shift tab. So we're going to double click it, the row 2, and then we're going to hold shift and then hit tab. And now it's bound the shift tab. And then we're going to go to our staff, which is row 3, which we want to bind to caps lock, which will show as uh, prior for some reason, but that's actually caps lock. Alright, so now we're going to bind our sword and shield, which is going to be row 4. So we double click it, and then we're just going to put it on tilde, which is the key next to 1 and above tab. So now all of your weapons are finally bound, which is very good, because Darkfall is all about weapon swapping. Weapon swapping is very important, so I put on very accessible keys, so you can hit them really quickly. So you're going to hit apply, then close. And now go into combat. Tab pulls out your greatsword. Shift tab will pull out your bow. And caps lock pulls out your staff. And then finally, Tilda will pull out your sword and shield. Alright, so now I want you to think about what you want to do with, with your future in Darkfall. Do you want to be more of a mage or a destroyer? Because that's a big deal. Because a mage, you're going to need to have a lot of keyboard space, a lot of binding spots. Because there's so many abilities in this game for mages. As a destroyer, you don't really need to worry about that. Alright, before we continue, I want to teach you guys how to rebind the toggle sprint. Because default was set to tab, and we put our sword on tab. So you just double click it. It's under the movement and the input bindings. It's near the bottom. Just double click it. And I set mine the shift caps lock. Which I find a pretty easy key to hit for me. But you can set whatever you want really. Whatever you want to do. So then set it and hit apply and then you're good. So basically if you look at this map I created. Everything in red we're trying to keep open as a bind. And we want to use as a bind. For any ability that we can think of. And then you see the blue keys are modifier keys. So your shift, control, and alt. So for example you could use shift q to bind something you want so the idea is we want to keep a lot of open space for the future because right now we're at our early stage of the game so we're not going to have as many binds obviously we have minimum spells so but we're just going to be prepared for the future so we want to be used to our binds that we have early so we don't have to worry about changing them later on and having to relearn them because this game's all about muscle memory and you want to be able to remember your binds so because of this we have to rebind a lot of uh, things under interaction like we need to rebind where we set our ganks 
a revive, stuff like that, or use key. For me, I like to move everything down just one key. So I'd put my rest on J. I would put my alternate use on H, and I'd use my normal use on G. Just so you free up more space, moving everything down, and just so you can get used to it. Alright guys, so that pretty much wraps up this video. This is just to show you the very basics of how to bind stuff, where to put stuff. So um, if you look in the description, I'm going to leave uh, my key list of where I have everything bound. There is actually a way that I could just send you my binds and you can copy them over. But I think it's better for you to learn the system, to learn how it works. So you can make your own changes if you want to, because it's all preferences in this game. So uh, thanks for watching guys, and I hope you watch the next one.